I'm Gail and welcome back to Gail's Low Carb Recipe Ideas. Today we're going to make a simple recipe but I think it's something that you're really going to enjoy. Um, we're going to make graham wafer um, crust or crumbs so that you can make it into some kind of dessert. Anything that you'd like. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So you can see it's starting to brown and I just have to keep moving it around because I don't want to burn it and then what I end up doing is I take it off of the the burner and move it around a little bit more just to remove from the heat a little bit. You have to be really careful. See you can see here you see it's getting brown in here so we just have to keep moving it around because we don't want to burn it. In the heat you, you'll see that it's heating up here on my burner that's when it starts to uh, cook it, so I'm just going to keep on moving around. And on my stove, it's on number four. You just want a medium heat. You don't want it too hot. Okay, I am satisfied with how I toasted my almond flour. And that took about ten minutes. And what I'm going to do is, I will, if I'm not making a pie and I just want my graham wafer crust, for the next pie or whatever, I can store it in a mason jar or a sealed container. So let's finish the crust. So for my crust, this is two cups of toasted almond flour. And then we're going to put in half a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a cup of powdered erythritol monk fruit. Now, I am using this brand. I picked it up at Costco. You can get it in quite a few places. I know for sure you can get it online. And all I'm going to do is mix this up really well. And then I have half a cup of melted salted butter. So I just want to mix this up really well. and myself a spatula. So we're going to pour in the salted butter. It's very simple. It was just more time consuming toasting the crust, or the, sorry, the almond flour. Get this all mixed up. No need to bake. We are just going to put it in a pie plate and then we will be all set. So I'm using a 9 inch glass pie plate and I'm not using a deep one, I'm just using a regular sized one. We're going to put our crust in here. And let's just use our hands and we will start pressing in the crust. Okay. So I've got it all shaped in here and just press really hard because you want to make sure it all stays together once you get your pie filling in there and you're ready to take out and serve. So that is our graham wafer crust. So here's my crust. You just have to put it in the fridge and let it get firm with the butter because the butter was soft. And I'm not going to taste it because I'm going to fill this with a great filling in my next video, which will be key lime pie. So stay tuned and we will continue with making this into a key lime pie. 